Ah, hello, my friend, and welcome to the Freedom Show. This is the daily show featuring 10-minute practical, usable advice from amazing lifestyle entrepreneurs because it's not just about the money, it's about freedom. I am Ryan Lee, your coach, your host, your teacher, your mentor, and the founder, of course, of Freedom.com, the leading online education platform for freedom-minded people just like you. And if you want to get your very special gift, it's a special gift, just text the word freedom, that's F-R-E-E-D-Y-M, to the number 33. 33- Four 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 again. That's three three four four four, and just text freedom F R E E D Y M for a very special gift. Now today we've got someone special on my hot seat, a guy I've known for years. One of my good friends, Mr. Nick Ortner, is a New York Times best-selling author, and he's one of the founders and creators of the Tapping Solution World Summit. The the website is the Tapping Solution dot com. They were essentially the innovators of these world online summits. So we are going to dive in today. As you know, we do no fluff. We don't talk for hours and hours about Nick's story and his favorite books. We dive right in. And I should just call you, hello, Mr. New York Times bestselling author Nick Ortner. Are you there? I am here, Ryan. I love you. I love the energy. You always bring it. And I love the no fluff. Like, let's not waste anyone's time. I'm uh, I'm all into that, so let's go. No fluff. We'll start off with three seconds of fluff. Congratulations, you just had your first baby. I did, I did. That's fluff, yeah, but it's cute. And her name is June, and she's gorgeous, and uh, she's four weeks old, and uh, I walk around in her with her in my stand-up treadmill desk <laughs> all day long in a snuggly, so... Which, talk about talk about lifestyle, I'm which is amazing. I know, you know, and that's what I was. That's the reason why I brought up like the fact that you're able to work from home. You run this multi million dollar business and doing something you love while you're while you're holding your baby in the, in the little snuggie thing. Where I love you, yeah, and the it's amazing. Yeah, amazing. it is amazing. So now let's talk summits. Everyone is doing summits, Nick. I think there's a world summit on world summits. I mean, there's, they're, <laughs> yeah. they're all over the place. Um, take me. Let's not take back. I don't want to talk about stories. Yeah. What's the secret sauce? Why are you guys so successful with summits? And why are, like, what are people doing wrong? Yeah, yeah, great question. You know, people have been asking me for advice on them for so long, and I've been loath to share it because people don't seem to take it and do a good job with it, and then there's more summits that aren't done right. But so I'm going to give this advice, and you got to listen if you want to do the summits. And you say successful just to lay it out really quickly. I mean, we've done – uh, multi-million dollar summits. Uh, our biggest one was $2.3 million in sales. And I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying it so you know, look, these are real numbers. We've had hundreds of thousands of people go to them. Uh, we've done seven in a row. Uh, we just finished our seventh annual Tapping World Summit. And obviously, there, there's a lot of factors, but the biggest one, what I tell people all the time, and they ignore it because people just nod their head and go, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the content. You've mm-hmm. got to nail the content. I mean, think about the format of these summits. You get to listen to everything for free, and then you get to decide if you want to buy it. Right. So beyond any program that you have, like if you're selling a program for 100 bucks and you don't let people listen to it, you know, maybe you have little excerpts or you, know, you, you have a sales page on it. Well, they buy it, and they don't get to listen to the whole thing. So to me, the bar is even lower on that. They already bought it. With this thing, they can listen in. And not only do they listen in, and potentially buy it if you're trying to make it work financially. They listen in and form an opinion that will last virtually forever about you, about your brand, about what you're doing in the world. So I just go crazy. I mean, I see these summits and I'm excited about the topic and I'm like, hey, great, cool. This is, they niche down, which I think is always important on summits, like talk about something specific, fix a problem. I'll log in, I'll even buy them just for, you know, time's sake and I'll put them on my iPod, I'll start listening. And I'll just be screaming at the iPod because there's <laughs> there's no content. Um, you know, right? It's what the I, opposite of this podcast is. The first 20 minutes is chatting about the person's life, you know? Right. So it'll be one about health and it'll be like, so tell me, John, when did you first realize that you wanted to look into natural health? You know, Susie, <laughs> it was 1984 and that was really – and I'm just flipping out, I know, you know? I know. It, it, I am, yeah. it, it, it's hard. I mean, it is. It's frustrating. You hear the fluff. Um, so content obviously is key because people just try to find people to interview with a big list and they could care yeah. less if they deliver good stuff. That's it. I mean, we are so – now, I think we have an advantage in that since we are market leaders on the summit, since the people who are being interviewed, we've now established that they're going to get exposure and that a lot of people are going to listen and a lot of people want to be on our summit. So we have the advantage of saying – 
you better work for this. I mean, we have people prepare outlines beforehand, mm. and it's like, what, an outline? Yeah, let's figure out what we're going to talk about. <laughs> you know, like you wouldn't get up on stage without any preparation whatsoever, and that's what we're doing with these calls. It's like, and here's the other distinction too. A lot of people are looking at these as radio interviews. They're not radio interviews because guess what? Radio is free. I would even say that they need to be a notch above podcasts. Mm-hmm. Like you and I oh, didn't yeah. prepare much for this. You know, we went into it. It's like you're delivering free content, the value. People are listening in the car. You're not selling anything. It's like there's a little lower bar. You know, radio interviews, podcasts. My belief should be that the summits would should be really high up there. Like, hey, people are buying this. This is a, a potential product. We have to really raise the bar on what we're going to cover content-wise, and people just aren't doing that. Yeah, no, I agree. Now, someone who's – you obviously have the advantage. You guys are market leaders now. You've been doing this for you know seven, eight years in a row. Someone starting out, they're following the Nick Ortner model. Hey, I am only going to do great stuff. People have outlines, top, top-notch top stuff, no fluff. What's the one big thing that besides content that they have yep. to do to grow these? Well, you've uh, – you know – Man, there's so many different elements. I mean, it's, okay, right? let, yeah, let, yeah. Me, let me throw one topic, yeah. and we'll do speed on this. Affiliates. Yeah. How do you recruit affiliates if you don't have a track record? Yeah, well, <laughs> listen, it's <laughs> tough, right? It's tough. <laughs> here's, here's what it is. You've got to prove to affiliates that what you're covering, it just goes right back to content, that the experience you're giving users is above and beyond, above and beyond. Like I listened to one a couple of weeks ago, it was like an essential oils summit. I love essential oils. I think they're the coolest things. Like, I, they're powerful. They relax me. I love, I was like, let me learn more about essential oils. I listened in on the summit and I listened to a whole call that wasn't even about essential oils. Like mm. 45 minutes was about something else. Right. So it's like, let's get really specific and let's think about the user. What's the problem that they're having? Let's help them fix that problem. Let's dive right in. I think positioning yourself to these speakers and saying, look, you acknowledging, you probably get invited to summits every single day, right? I do. I get invited to one a day yep. minimum. So you're getting invited every day. This is what we're doing different. We're doing no fluff. We're focusing on content. We have XX and X in terms of a marketing plan. We have XX and X in terms of how great we're going to make you look. You know, one of the things that I have experienced being on the other end of a summit, when I I say no to 99% of them. When I say yes, for example, there's a summit called Recovery 2.0. It's my friend Tommy Rosen. It's about addiction. And he's such a great interviewer, and we have such a great time. He pulls out such great content from me that when it's time to promote, I promote it because I'm happy with what I shared there. Mm. Right? It's a good. It's a very good point. I mean, I was just interviewed in a podcast. It was the best podcast I've ever done with my friend Kevin Rogers, and I'm like, Kev, let me know when this goes live. I'm going to promote it. Boom! Right? V- versus exactly. you know being there was no financial incentive. Yep. You 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 know it's funny I didn't even think of it, but you're absolutely right. And so few people put the time into that. They talk about well, like, you'll get this commission, and they start hyping up this BS. Um, I, that's I think that's why you guys are so successful. Um, it, now in terms of let's talk another quick thing. Yeah. Um, Pricing, you know, I, I've seen them from fifty dollars to two hundred dollars sure. with you know online versus you know upsell to CDs. G- give me your one minute version of just yeah. your philosophy of pricing. Yeah, we've done. I mean, from the start, we've done ninety seven digital, one ninety seven hard copy. Um, you know, we've done very little testing. We probably should have done some more. Uh, you know, we're considering one twenty seven for digital only because we've been doing the same thing. This is going to be our eighth one, and we've never raised the price on it. Mm. Um, Physical is a lot of work. There's right. no doubt about it, right? There's it's just so much more that has to happen. We still get a tremendous number of physical orders. Um, I know there's a shift happening. I can see why people would say, let me just do digital for peace of mind and sanity. We've been doing it long enough that if we only went digital, we'd, ha- we'd have a lot of people who'd be upset because they, they love – we we have a great workbook. I mean, we have a 200-page workbook. We put a lot of effort into it. They love flipping through that. Um mm-hmm. So there's a lot of value in that. I think every demographic is different. We have an older demographic. We have more of a female demographic. You know, if you're in the IM space, physical product might be a little old school. Um, the biggest thing, and this applies to anything, right? Your pricing should just be such a tremendous value that there's just it's a no-brainer decision. I mean, what we put in the summits, $97 is kind of a joke for what people get. 
uh, in terms of how it's going to change your life. So you've you've got to have that value proposition. Yeah, and, and what I want to do, and you're the first person I've asked. I, I definitely want to have you back on again in the future because then what I'd like to do is talk a little more about what you do once you have the people in. Um, mm, yeah. Because, and the, the other thing, and let me know if you agree with this or not, You know, at the beginning, the first summer you run might not make very much money. You might only sell a handful, but isn't it also about developing relationships with the speakers and delivering great value and content and kind of building some momentum for future summits? 100%, building yeah. on your success. I mean, you could, you could in theory say, all right, I'm going to go out to these 20 speakers. Let's say they, they're all great. They all agree to interviews, but nobody wants to promote it because that's just the way it goes now, right? Uh, a lot of people will say, well, I'll do the interview, but I can't promote it. Okay, so do that the first time. Mm -hmm. Give them a great experience with you. Like we just talked about two minutes ago, they might promote it because they love the interview and they, they saw that they look great. You did your homework. They like everything you did. Do that first. Get that on your belt and... Then you know, move on to the next one. And you don't. The important thing you said. And I'll, I'll kind of leave it with your advice on this. I get emails all the time. I, I don't get one a day. I probably get one every other day. Someone wanting to interview me for a summit. Yeah. And the first question we ask is, "Am I required to promote this?" Uh, and absolutely. you'd be shocked at how many people say yes. It's the first summit, and they're saying, "Hey, Ryan, I want to interview you, and now you have to promote it to your list." Like, are you insane? And yeah. We just well, say no automatically. It's just not going to happen anymore. Yeah. I mean, maybe ten years ago, it was like, "Yo, of course, it's just a requirement." Mm -hmm. um, if you don't have that track record, yeah, you can't do it. So right. Do, focus so on the content, focus on your interviewing skills, focus on really thinking about the user and their experience. And at the end of the day, great content wins out. There's just no, there's no getting around it. You know, yep. we, you and I are marketers and we're good at what we do and we focus on marketing. We talk about it and we know that that's all important. But if you give me a choice, if you, if you say you can either do great content or great marketing, you can't do both, I'll do great content all day. I love it. It's also better long term. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Amazing. If you guys are interested, here's what I suggest you do. Go to thetappingsolution.com and go through the summits. Experience it yourself. Buy the product. See what they're doing. And not only will you understand marketing better, but you really – it. Nick does great products. I have their DVDs. I have their books. I have all the great stuff. And, and uh, I know Nick and his sister Jessica and his brother Alex and – Great, great people. Um, also, for anyone going to our first event, Freedom Fest, Nick is going to be speaking. It's I think it's – you like never speak about business no, at these events. Never. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I hate to twist some arms, um, but I, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much, Nick. This has been amazing. We, we cut right to it. We got great stuff. And for everyone listening, I hope you enjoyed this with my man, Nick Ortner. As always, stay tuned because tomorrow – We've got another show. I'm here every day for you, giving, giving, giving. And if you like what I'm giving, if you like the content, please go to iTunes and vote and rate and rank and give comments. Whatever you do, it's all appreciated. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks to Nick Ortner. This is Ryan Lee signing off. Have an amazing, amazing day. Take care and bye-bye.